Welcome back to Taste Tested Kitchen. Today I'll show you how to make my decadent coffee cake. There are three steps to this recipe, but they're easy to follow. Here's what you'll need. Filling, one cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon. Mix them together and mash any clumps up with a fork. For the topping, you'll need one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, and six tablespoons of melted butter. Mix all the dry ingredients together and gradually stir in the butter. You're going to want large pebble-sized crumbs. For the cake, you'll want 3 fourths of a cup room temperature butter, 1 and a half cups sugar, a third of a cup brown sugar, 3 eggs room temperature, 2 teaspoons of vanilla, 2 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, 3 and 3 fourths cup flour, 1 and a fourth cup room temperature milk, and 3 fourths of a cup sour cream room temperature. Start by creaming your butter and sugars together. This allows the sugar to dissolve and gives an airiness to the butter. Now add the baking powder, the vanilla, and the eggs. I prefer to add my ingredients one at a time so that I can guarantee each of them gets equally distributed into the batter. The main reason you want the eggs, butter, sour cream, and milk at room temperature is because it gives the ingredients the ability to properly disperse into the batter evenly, whereas cold ingredients are going to give your batter a curdled, lumpy, and uneven texture. Whisk together the milk and sour cream, getting rid of the large lumps. You're going to alternate adding the flour and the milk mixture a little at a time. This will help keep the batter smooth. Remember to scrape the bowl well to ensure there's no remnants of sugar or butter on the bottom. Spray a 9 by 13 baking dish and add a little flour. Shake it around so that it fully covers the bottom and the sides of the dish. This will keep the cake from sticking during the baking process. Now spread half of the batter into the bottom of the baking dish. Try to make the top as even as possible. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now sprinkle the filling all over the prepared batter, again making sure it's even. Make sure to get the filling to the edges as well. Scoop out the remaining batter in spoonfuls over the filling. I prefer doing this rather than pouring because it's easier to spread the batter out over the top. When spreading the batter out, have patience and use a gentle touch. Be careful not to pick the batter up with the back of the spoon and mix the filling with it. Remember to get it all the way to the edges of the dish. Take a butter knife and run it through the length and width of the dish to create those swirls. Go ahead and sprinkle on the topping. It may seem like a lot for the top, 
but it's my favorite part of the cake. It makes it crunchy and sweet and gives it that nice crumb texture. Pop it into the oven for 55 minutes or until it's golden brown. Once it's done, allow it to cool and set up for about 10 minutes before you slice it. This coffee cake is best served warm, but is absolutely wonderful served cold as well. I make this a lot for friends or for brunch gatherings. It's always a hit. The crumbly caramelized crunch of the topping with the center swirl of cinnamon and the fluffiness of the cake make it a highly requested dish by friends and family alike. Hit the like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future recipes. Enjoy!